Before we get started with your reading, if you could please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you like personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. You can message me on Instagram. You can send me a regular email. Uh, I'm also on TikTok doing weekly readings now. And I just wanted to thank everybody for all the donations, all the emails, all the comments, all the likes. Thank you very much, you guys. I really appreciate it. What do we have for Taurus, please? Justice, Libra energy at the foundation. What do we have at the sacral? Six of Cups, Scorpio energy at the sacral. What do we have at the solar plexus? Eight of Pentacles at the solar plexus. This is an interesting energy. Okay, what do we have at the heart? What do we have at the heart position? Ten of Pentacles at the heart. So we got Virgo energy twice here. Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, Virgo. What do we have at the throat? There's an energy here, I feel, Taurus, of... Um, you guys have been working hard, really transforming your lives, okay? But there's an energy here that is definitely trying to stop you from bringing this through. And it's like, it's you're right on the precipice of whatever this is here that you've been trying to pull through. It's coming through, right? And here they come trying to pull you back in. And they're trying to pull you back in with some sort of nostalgic sort of energy some nostalgia just a little sprinkle of nostalgia should get them off the path it's this sort of energy right and this is a very very dishonest energy that's coming through to do this okay so i feel like this is one of the people um that you guys have moved away from and now they're trying to come back through like they're all for you like they're on your team like they want to help you What do we have at the third eye? Three of cups at the third eye. They just want a piece is what it comes down to. Cancer energy. You could be dealing with a cancer. It's like they see all this victory you're bringing through for yourself now after you've created boundaries in your life, right, to, and moved away from these energies. And now they want to come back through and just see if they could sprinkle a little bit of their pixie dust down there, right? Get a little bit of themselves on everything it is that you're doing, right? Taint it basically is what it comes down to. And they're doing this because they want a piece of the pie. But the thing is, what this energy doesn't understand is, as soon as they try to step into the equation, the blessing will vanish. And it's the divine's way of protecting your blessings now. Okay? But I don't even think they can get that far. All they can maybe do is try and slow you down a little bit, but they can't stop what's been divinely guided to come to you and what is yours. You've done too much work, Taurus. Okay? So you really need to, and especially during these retrogrades, there's a lot of these energies coming back for review, people coming back. It's just a very strange energy right now with Mercury um, and Venus in retrograde. It's just uh, a very, very strange energy. It's kind of confusing. Uh, you're seeing people um, act out of character or maybe not. Maybe we're just seeing people really show us who they truly are. Um, their masks are coming off, right? Uh, I've noticed this a lot uh, with people around me. I've noticed this a lot in the community here on YouTube. Certain people that I... Uh, 
used to look at a particular way that maybe I supported. They're just doing things now where I'm ashamed for supporting some of these people. It's an energy like this where you're sort of looking at this as well. Like, I can't believe I actually believed in that person. I can't believe that I couldn't see the truth. But you can't be hard on yourself about this, Taurus. And I try not to be too hard on myself, too, because it's actually part of the path. It's part of growth, right? And sometimes these people who um, we can't get clarity around... There's a lot of lessons that we learn from these people, right? Because we kind of see how they move. And then it's like the mass drops and you're like, wow, that was crazy. I actually kind of supported that person, right? So this is kind of like the energy right now. It's just, it's a very confusing energy. But whatever the case, Taurus, just keep it pushing. This sun card really wants to come out. Okay. Leo at the crown. Yeah, they can't stop this, right? This is all related to, I feel this is related to your material happiness too. There's something here that you guys have really been working on and whoever this is doesn't want you to pull this through for yourself. They want to control the, they want to control the manifestations that you're bringing through to yourself. The hell? Okay, what do we have at the foundation? Seven of Wands at the foundation. Okay, so this is an energy here of um see this seven of this is like seven of wands in reverse. So this is an energy of having weak boundaries. Okay, so this energy here is betting on you actually allowing them to get back into um your good graces. And I feel like they think that you're so distracted by what you're pulling through for yourself. You guys may be really happy. And typically it's, this is when we kind of drop our guard, right? When we're on a good path, we have a lot of blessings coming through. We're really happy. We'll try and re-entertain an energy from the past. But this, this is a big warning here, Taurus. Don't do it. Okay. Do not entertain these energies because this, just in that one interaction or that one conversation, it's like the blessings will just vanish. They'll be put on pause by the divine because the divine doesn't want this energy tainting your blessings. Okay, what do we have at the sacral? So keep your guards up right now, Taurus. Ten of Wands. Right, they want to come back through. See, this is how they're going to come back through. They're going to come back through with something that is burdening, right? Something that they can't handle on their own. They're going to come back through and they're going to ask for your help. They really need your help, Taurus. I really need your help. I can't deal with this on my own. Please, I need your help, Taurus. The Tower, Visago. Right, so with this Visago energy, this is an energy of them coming through and just creating this complete upheaval in your life, Taurus, stopping these blessings from coming through to you. Nine of Cups, Foras, right? So with this Nine of Cups energy, this is an energy of, this is just a very, very lazy, greedy energy. This is them. They want everything good in your life, Taurus, for them is what it comes down to, right? Right underneath that Ten of Pentacles at the heart. This is what you're working for. This is what you're putting all your energy into. And they're coming back through because there's like this self-entitled energy that surrounds them where they think that it belongs to them, like they're deserving of this. All they should have to do is kick back, have you do all the work, and then in the 11th hour, come in and take it from you. Interesting, right? Okay, let's pull from the Angel Tarot and get this throat position here. What do we have at the throat for Taurus? Ace of Swords, right. So this is you guys now having all this mental clarity around this energy. Okay, so you guys need to keep it pushing and keep your guards up is what I'm getting here. This is the message for Taurus right now. Keep your guards up, keep it pushing, and keep to yourself. The devil, Samuel, right? See, look at him looking over his shoulder like, oh, crap. I think, I think they realize that we're trying to come back through and hoodwink and baboozle them. Okay, um, I'm just going to shuffle off over here and rethink my steps, right? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? Two of Cups, Cancer Energy. You could be dealing with the cancer. So this is an energy here where you're just completely disinterested. You need to be completely disinterested in anything that they present to you right now, Taurus. 
And really moving forward, this is an energy that does not have your best interest in mind. This is a blessing blocker, Taurus, okay? So figure out who this is or who these people are and keep them away from you. Period. That's it. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, you guys. I really appreciate it. Take care, Taurus.